Hey guys, this is John Light here from Social Media NZ. I just want to welcome you guys to the first ever episode of our Social Media in Tech Roundup. So, you know, what a better way to start off the first ever episode right here in my home country of Malaysia. So without further ado, let's, you know, let's jump straight into it. The first topic that we're going to touch base on is the Google Phone. The Google Phone was launched, was introduced to the world on January the 5th this year, which is a couple of days back. The phone basically runs on a Google Android mobile phone operating system which integrates most of Google services which includes the search, which includes map and also Google Voice. The, the phone is available right now on the web store so don't worry about it, I'm going to have the link right on the right hand side in the description box so you guys can go and check it out. Unfortunately, it is not available just yet for, you know, for New Zealand but hopefully, fingers crossed, it will, it will be available pretty soon. So on to the next, you know, most talk about tech news of this week is CES. What is CES? CES is basically Consumer Electronic Show. If, if I were to give a meaning to what CES is, it will be the world largest tech gadget show. That's the most simplest you know, term that I can put it in. So, you know, what, what really stood out for me at CES was the, you know, the introduction of, by Samsung of the 3D TV. You know, uh, following the, the, the recent release of Avatar, it's only fitting that a 3D TV will come out at CES. So, you know, that's what stood out for me. So, I would like to know what you guys thought. You know, what, what, what's the gadget that stood out for you guys, all the, you know, all the invention, all the innovation that stood up for you guys at CES. And on to the third most talk about tech news for this week was the Kindle DX. Amazon recently announced that their larger ebook reader, the Kindle DX, is being made available outside of the USA, which means that other countries are able to purchase this, uh, this Kindle DX, but not in New Zealand just yet. So, you know. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that 2010 will be the year where the Kindle line will make its appearance in New Zealand. So, you know, fingers crossed for that. And lastly, the buzz that went around the interwebs was AOL's potential talk with uh, Mashable about buying them out. I think it was, it was Robert Scoble's tweet, if I remember correctly, that said, you know, one of his uh, sources tells him that, you know, Mashable is in talk with AOL or AOLs and talk with Mashable about potential buyout. And that tweet alone became viral. Became viral and everyone had their own take on it and you know, whether it's been bought, whether it's not been bought out, you know, everyone just had their own version. But you know, Mashable CEO Pete Cashmore came out and wrote a press release that says this. We're very open to partnership and always talk with those get in touch. But I don't feel that any of those conversations reach a point at which Meshable is likely to cease being independent. So that's episode number one in the bag. Those are the happening news in the social media and tech world for this week. Don't worry that um, all the news all, all the news that I mentioned today is roundup will be posted on the right hand side in the description box. And yeah, so I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate for you guys and tuning in to the first first ever episode. And you know I just want to say a massive thank you. Thank you. So, you know, till next week, I'll see you guys at the same place. All right, have a great week, guys.